Hey everyone, my name is Will with Atlassian, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Jira's automation engine. Now, when you leverage Jira automation, you'll remove human error from certain tasks and free up considerable time, allowing your folks to focus on more meaningful work. Automation is available for all versions of Jira and can occur at the project level or at the multi-project or global level. So let's jump into a Jira instance and take a look at this powerful feature. So here we are on a Jira landing page for my instance. And to access Jira automation in a software project, we'll go ahead and select a software project from our list here. And then we'll scroll down and visit project settings. And then we'll click on automation. Now, right away, once this loads, we see a host of rule templates that are uniquely helpful for software projects. These templates are a great way to see what Jira Automation can do and give you a great starting point for getting to know the components of the rule builder. For example, we can automatically close an epic when all of its stories are completed. Or here's another really useful one. We can use Jira Automation to schedule a recurring ticket to be created at a designated day and time. So I actually get asked about this pretty often if Jira can create recurring issues. So let's click into this one and take a look at it together. If your team has regularly occurring tasks, it's really easy to automate that issue creation. So we'll just choose the frequency, uh, we'll choose the date and the time, and then we'll click into the next component of the rule to define some additional behavior, like the project and the issue type. Now we can also, if you want, we can have this rule fill out certain issue fields for us as well. And then we'll just go ahead and save this and turn it on. And now every Monday morning at 9 a.m., a recurring task will be created in Jira. Now, another template that I think is really helpful is this comment on related issues rule. Uh, before we get into this template, let's take a look at one of our issues in our software project, mobile-33. So in Jira, you can link issues together in a number of ways. So here you can see we have uh, blocks or is blocked by, has to be done before or has to be done after, and a whole host of other link types. Now this issue, mobile-33, has to be done before mobile-32. So hop back into a rule builder. Um, we'll just go ahead and navigate there. And back into that rule, we'll choose the link type has to be done before. And now when we transition mobile-33 to done, we'll see a comment added to mobile-32 telling us that this is now ready to be worked on. So now this issue, mobile-32, this gets immediate attention and can start progress right away, keeping things moving. So the templates are great, but if we're building a rule from scratch, we can see a very large selection of triggers that allow for a ton of really interesting rule options. So just to, for an example, let's just choose issue assigned and then see the rest of the process. So next we can add conditions for the rule that the rule will check against. And then we can add a then component, which indicates the action that will take place. So for this rule, we'll choose when issue is signed, and then we'll add an if clause, and we'll choose issue fields condition, and we'll set, this, we'll set that to if the status is to do. So if this issue is in a to do status, we'll save that, and then next we'll define what happens. So we'll choose then, and we'll say we wanna transition the issue, and select transition the issue to in progress. So we'll go ahead and save this, um, give it a name, and then we will turn this rule on. And now anytime an issue is assigned to somebody, it will move that issue through your workflow to an in-progress status, letting that user know that they need to begin work on this. So with a large number of triggers, conditions, and actions, you can get really detailed and intricate with these rules if you like. But there are also tons of really simple rules that you can build that will enhance your work and reduce human error significantly right away. So the rule builder works very similarly for Jira service management and Jira work management. But let's navigate to a Jira service management project. Again, we'll scroll down to project settings and then we'll click on automation. And here we see template suggestions that are much more geared towards service teams and IT teams. So we have a template to help assign work as it comes in to your service agents. The rule defaults to a balanced workload option, but if we click into it, we can see some other options here, like we can assign incoming issues in a round robin style, or we can assign them at random to distribute work in whatever way works best for your team. Now we also have other rules that help manage issues that a customer may have forgotten about. So here's one that will actually message the customer after a period of inactivity. So let's go ahead and take a look at the elements of this real quick. 
So it looks like this is, if we turn this on, this is gonna run once a day and it's gonna look for issues that have been sitting in a waiting for customer status for five days or longer. And then any issues that match that query will then have this comment added, nudging your customers to reply so your service teams can get those issues tackled without having to micromanage these follow-up messages. So just taking a look at a few other service rule templates, here's another that will actually close the issue out after a period of inactivity. And here's one that will alert your agents if an issue of theirs is about to breach a service level agreement. And then we have others that are geared towards handling incident reports like a, a potential outage. Now, as you might imagine, this works very similarly with Jira work management projects as well. So if you navigate to a project for our marketing team, we'll again, of course, visit project settings and then automation. And from here, you can create rules for your business teams that are running in Jira work management, like HR, um, legal, marketing, things like that. Now, all of these automations that we've seen so far are built inside specific projects, right? If we go back to our mobile development project, let's just navigate there quickly and go back to automation. And we're gonna see that transition on assignment rule that we built earlier. Uh, and looking at the details section for this rule, we can see that the scope is limited to this project since we built it here inside this project. If we visit a different Jira software project, we'll just click into this one here, for example, and then visit project settings and automation for this project, we won't, we won't see it, right? Uh, we could build it here, of course, but if we want to build rules that span multiple projects, we can leverage global automation, which we can access from right up here, or we can go to settings, system, and then global automation. Global automation is one of the many features that you'll unlock if you subscribe to the premium version of Jira. And more information about the premium versus the standard editions is available in the link below this video. Now, when we build a rule in the global automation section, it will impact all of your projects by default. So let's just pick one of these templates and turn this on quickly. And once that's all enabled, when we visit the details panel from this global rule builder, now we can edit this scope field and we can apply this rule to all projects or to a single project, to multiple projects that we specify, or we can choose to apply it to all Jira software projects or all Jira service management projects or all Jira work management projects. For example, that rule we made before about your customer follow-up prompts, you likely only want those to apply to your service management projects. And since we're in global automation now, we can find that rule and go to the details panel for that rule and we can update the scope of that rule right here. So with a few quick clicks, that rule now applies to every service project, removing this busy work from all of your agents across all of your service teams. So that's gonna just about cover our introduction to Jira Automation. But to learn more, please visit the link in the video description below. And to start a free trial of any version of Jira, please head over to atlassian.com try to spin up a trial and see for yourself what Jira automation is capable of.